Hi everybody, this is a tutorial video for X2 applications and uh, this is for a civil engineering design software extract and a pre-process of the model and uh, extract is a popular concrete section design software with uh, a well-known reputation in seismic engineering and uh, like other design software and as soon as you are familiar with the software a lot of work is repetitive work of inputting data and also sometimes it's important to keep the data up to date in terms of model version control and so on and so forth it became uh, time and labor consuming work and uh, whenever there's a human effort in it there's you know a lot of error prone if it is not automated so how can extol make a difference like always it's a one button search and assess of the application and uh, we dive into the example to show the how it works to an empty excel sheet and uh, we can on select the empty cell right click extol cell and uh, we can search for import xpj and uh, this is the command and uh, in this case we want to load the XP xpj file first so we can double click on on this entry and uh, let's say we load this uh, particular input example and uh, it's loaded in this one sheet for you to verify this is the file you want to load in and uh, once you verify that, you can right click the extract XPJ level 1 pass, right click on it, select extort cell, and in this case, we select the blue region that is imported the region of the XPJ file, and uh, we can click OK. It imports all the tabs. Um, for each scope of material, general task, and section design. And how do we get a overview of what uh, module or scope that we have imported? So if we go back to this sheet, we can load the template. You know, we can shift with shift key down, right click, extort cell, and uh, it loads the template abstract the uh, modules that uh, we have imported so click the excel list sheet name and range a1 extort cell it essentially tally every sheet in this uh, workbook and uh, these are the ones uh, the the scope one module that we have imported and passed and this is so now we can say these are the imported copy and paste to here and this is sort of an an assembly line for a model that uh, you can put any sheets list in in here and uh, export them as an xpj file so let's say we we export everything that we have just imported so we right click ex Tract underscore export xpj extort cell we select all of them and in this case you can define the model name but i'm going to leave it as a default which is user custom underscore model name 101 101 is typically used to provide version control number so let's just hit ok and ask you select a number we just select this 101 and save ok so it just created uh, this file that uh, we just exported and uh, we're going to compare the original one which is this particular file that is generated by extract and uh, this particular file which is imported into excel sheet into module and uh, in this case we export everything back into xpj file to indicate in we we sort of close the loop uh, we import and export to generate the same uh, input file so let's try that so let's go to this uh, 
particular ex uh, extract software interface we can click open and there's two files that we just uh, uh, used this is the original input file this is the exported XPJ file let's just try this one first so we have imported the sections materials and everything into the extract so you can collect section 1, 2, 2 a, 3 and so on and so forth so let's just say we open the exported file say open the exported file we can say we have exactly the same model as the other one we are have just demoed how we can successfully import a XPJ file into Excel file with module level and then export each and every selected module in back into X XPJ file with the, uh, no loss of information. Let's just go back and see how we can deal with the modulized XPJ file and how it can facilitate us in terms of modifying the model design and so on and so forth. So let's just go back that. In this file, we have created these module and now we are ready to say we change the section or, or change a model so we copy and uh, insert copied so in this case we want to generate a model 102 and uh, for whatever reason I don't need uh, this section and I don't need these material I will be able to quickly generate another file which is 102 with only the information that I needed. Let's see the file is, is much less than the original and with the uh, only module that we needed. And should we want to change a particular module, um, in this case say we ch want to change this particular material. Um, let's go to this material that we want to change um, let's say FC to a different number so we can right click on Excel copy list sheet and update link hit and double click uh, select this particular uh, sheet and uh, we just created a clone of the original sheet and with a name that is different from the original and it's all, all automatically hyperlinked so this is the file, this is the sheet and it is a clone of the previous copy but now we can change this to let's say we want to change it to uh, 7000 sorry 70,000 kilopascal concrete so let's just highlight this this is the only thing that we change in this case so we can export the same file or let's just say we can create another one that is 103 which is this the good thing is that we can always re retrieve retract the the changes so 102 was exported and we changed this particular sheet um, we intend to for 103 and we accidentally changed for 102 but all we have to do is to change the the module in 102 back to the original one so this is 102 is good to go and 103 has only this change from 102 and we can write right here say from 102 change pi section 1 and uh, this provides sort of a abstract of what have been changed and now with the colored uh, coding you can easily see what has been changed from the last version so let's just export this uh, model 103 into a new sheet also xpj file so it's just generated let's just go to the particular file and uh, this is the file we can compare one, 103 and 102 side by side so in 102 we go to this material which is PL section 1 which is 6000 and we go to 103 of the same material 
it has been changed to 7,000. So out of um, uh, about 3,000 lines of a model, um, it would be very difficult for people to um, notice the difference between the two versions of model, except that if they go to this sort of overview and uh, identify what module has been changed and go to that module and then there's um, Excel provided uh, uh, many ways to highlight or or comment or mark the things that has been changed so we can easily compare this sheet to the previous sheet and we can know this has this was the only thing that we have changed and we can also write comments here say change uh, concrete material strength so this way it anybody who can write this um, comments very easy to archive and it has nothing it will not affect the model you can write anything you want as long as it's outside of this uh, column region so this is sort of an, an overview of how we can chain, uh, import an XPJ file and uh, export back with no information loss and then we use the modulized information to create different versions of model at very you know simple procedure and a good thing about this modulized uh, model is that now everything is modulized such that it can become a parallel process for for model development you can have one guy one engineer uh, develop material and focus on that the other set engineer focus on section or mix match you know who create a, a two three material with a coding section and the other engineer create other materials and other section at the end of the day all you have to do is collect these individual sheets and put them into one list and uh, you can export them uh, into a, a combined xpj file right away so this sort of gives an overview of how we can um, assist xpj uh, or extract modeling uh, with extor platform and uh, sort of modulize the model concept so th thanks for watching